In this video, we will discuss an overview of the Survey Toolspace. If you'd like to follow along with this video, please open the file SurveyToolspaceOverview.dwg located in the training folder as discussed in the Working with Dataset video. The Survey tab of the Civil 3D Toolspace is the main user interface for the survey features in Civil 3D. All survey related data is imported, exported, and managed in the Survey tab. All the collections represented in the Survey tab are external to the Civil 3D drawing and stored in an external survey database. The majority of the survey functionality can actually be accessed without seeing the data actually inside the drawing. To open and close the Survey tool space, simply navigate to the Palettes panel of the Home tab and you can toggle it on or off here. Here's the Survey tab. Right now you should have a completed survey database that you can open for editing. Just like Civil 3D projects, you need to define a working folder for the survey database. To do so, you simply right click on here and click on Set Working Folder. In this case, it's set to C colon Civil 3D Projects. And whenever you create a brand new survey database, it'll actually put the project in the Civil 3D Projects folder. Let's open this survey database for editing and discuss an overview of the survey tool space. Go ahead and right click on here and choose Open for Edit. As you can see, there's already some survey data within this survey database. We've got import events, we have queries, we have figures, survey points, and so on. To do any kind of interaction with the survey tool space, you simply right click on it. Notice the option to edit figures, update figures, and so on. Similar to the prospector tab, when you click on a specific collection, you will see the items appear down below here. You can also edit individual items. If I wanted to edit a specific figure, I would simply right click on it and choose edit figure. And you'll notice that in the panorama window, we can change many of the different settings for that specific object. Also notice that you can select an object, right click and choose zoom to. And notice how it highlights in the actual file. So as you click away from it, you'll notice here, it'll actually highlight in the file, even if the object is not in the file. There are additional categories and databases that you can see here. We have an equipment database, which is used for any kind of least squares analysis or adjustments needed for the survey. Figure prefix database, which is used for automating line work creation from importing data into a survey database. The line work code sets have unique codes that you will define for things like beginning a curve, beginning a line, ending a line, and so on. We will examine many of these settings in future videos.